Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. I'm back with another tutorial, it's been a while. Um, and today I'm gonna show you how to make orchestral type beats. So first of all, I wanna explain the difference between orchestral and regalia type beats, because many people think it's pretty much the same, but it isn't. So at least in my definition, the difference is that orchestral beats are very classic, like they don't have modern instruments, they are just strings, pianos, like real instruments. And um, that's at least my definition. And regalia is like a mix with leads, much leads are in regalia and the plucks and all of this, but orchestral is more like classic. But yeah, I don't wanna talk too much now. I want to show you the beat first and afterwards I give you a little run through my FLP. So here I am again, um, first of all I started with the piano and that's what I want to show you now. Yeah, so next I added some strings from the Labs plugin, um, just to make it sound full and very epic. So yeah, the next thing is like the key to all of these beats. Um, short strings, also from the Labs plugin. And um, for this beat, I wanted to have them a little bit more in the background because there's like another another instrument I wanted to stand out more. Um, but still, you, you can make an orchestral or regalia type beat without these strings. Yeah, so um, it's a lot of delay, I know, but it just creates such a nice sound. And yeah, you can copy these settings if you want. And I just added a low pass. And yeah, let's move on to the next one. The pizzicato strings are also from the Labs plugin. And yeah, what should I say? Just keep them simple, just nice in the background. Yes, so the next thing I added was these strings. They are actually a one-shot, but they have such an individual sound. They are very, very great. Yes, and for the mix, just EQ, some reverb and uh, some delay. So the next instrument is like supposed to be the main focus of the beat. It's also in one shot, the one shot is called Tesla Strings, that's why I wrote it down here. And yeah, it's just very powerful. Mm -hmm. 
yeah so that's that and i also wanted to add like a bass for the intro so i added this bass string but you can also add like a trumpet like a low trumpet or brass whatever just something that's a little bit more punchy and the last instrument of this beat are these high piano notes they are just very good for like a bridge or like to add something extra to the beat but you can leave them out whatever Yeah, so that was all the instruments and by the way if you're still watching bro thank you very much um yeah so i'm gonna start with the a weight i have like three different a weights i have multiple different patterns so i'm gonna just show you everything at once okay Yeah, then I made this crazy looking Hyatt, but um, I think it sounds nice. I added some delay 3, some uh, growth speed reverse and uh, a patcher. But I think you can see it right now. But I have like EQ and two different super massives. And yeah, I just added some EQ at the end. So um, now I'm gonna show you claps and snares and everything else. But I won't say anything, I will just show you because it's not that uh, important. And as always, I added some texture. And like I said last time, it's something I recorded myself, like at the park. I don't know where I was. And yeah, I would recommend it to you definitely. Because just like creating your own stuff, creating your own sound, it just helps you improve a lot. And yeah, just listen to it very quick. And if you follow all of these steps, you will have a great orchestral beat. And yeah, I hope I could teach you something today. And please tell me what you want to see next, uh, because I need some ideas. And yeah, bro, stay focused and consistent, like always.